Welcome to the lecture developers in Scrum. Now professionals in Scrum who do the work of delivering a potentially releasable increment of done product at the end of the each sprint we are calling developers. Developers are located in this red area you can see on your screen. The Scrum framework does not recognize any specific roles like analyst, tester, architect, designer, etc. Not that these roles do not exist, but Scrum just recognizes all of these roles just as developers. Scrum never defines more specific roles. Scrum only tells you that everyone who is involved in developing the product is developer, as simple as that. So this should nudge people when thinking who should be developer. When organizations are starting with Scrum, many will think that the term developer equates to those who write the code, that is, programmers or coders. This misconception grow because in sequential process like waterfall adapted from the assembly line and constructions work, roles are divided according to the phases people are working in. So when you view software development as a factory work, where the source code can be repeatedly mass-produced, you will view developers as the people who are working on the development phase and write code because there are no analysts or testers are working in this phase. In this scenario, you view programmers as a code laborer who receives an order from analyst or project manager or architect write the code as ordered and then send their software to the quality insurance once they are finished. In most organizations, these analysts or architects are people on higher rank than programmers, just like how engineers in manufacturing companies are on higher rank than the factory workers. But when you view software development as a creative process development work, where people need to talk to each other continuously to exchange ideas, the programmers cannot work by themselves and just receive an order from an analyst or project manager or architect. So it's quite impossible to develop a creative product without brainstorming with the other professionals in the organization. It is also quite impossible for programmers to develop a high-quality creative product without collaborating with designers, architects, analysts and testers. Because of all of these reasons, Scrum only recognizes these roles as developer to avoid silos and most importantly to avoid politics which can prevent creativity. Developer in Scrum is one single unit that consists of multiple skills that can deliver a piece of increment every sprint. Okay, now we will talk about the development roles inside a Scrum team. So when you view software as a valuable piece of product, where software must be used friendly, must be documented and must be tested before it ships to the customer, Every skill set that is required to develop a complete package, every sprint must be in the developers team and work together with the programmers throughout the sprints, which includes architects develop models and architecture, designers develop the user interface and user experience, business analysts develop a business analyst requirements and documentation, Programmers develop the code itself. Testers develop the test cases, acceptance test and test itself. Ok, now let's see the necessary skills for a Scrum developer. A Scrum developer should have a technical knowledge and skills. For example, software analyst, coding, software programming or testing. Deep knowledge of Scrum framework and understanding of how to implement it effectively for any type of project. Excellent team skills necessary for the collaboration with the other team members. And other soft skills like highly motivated, proactive, self-organized, independent, reasonable, intuitive, goal-oriented and so on. Ok, now let's recap. Developers have the following characteristics. They are self-organizing, which means developers decide how to turn product backlog items into working solutions. They are cross-functional. As a whole, they've got all the skills necessary to create the product increment. 
Everyone is a developer. No one has individual title. There are no sub teams in the developers. And all developers are committed to achieving the sprint goal and delivering high quality increment. According to the payscale.com, average software developer salary goes from $49 up to $109,000 per year. Now, before we continue any further, please pause this video and read the characteristics of a great Scrum Team white paper in the resource section. 